What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a very very special video I'm gonna tell you my feelings and my reaction to the Austria-Hungary Euro 2016 game which happened yesterday Guys, the last time Hungary has made it to a European Championship was 44 years ago The last time we actually won a game at the European Championship was 52 years ago in like 1964 I mean my father was a little kid back then can you believe this guys absolutely say let me know what are your thoughts and don't forget to if you want to see the fans on live reactions to that game which we recorded at my friend's house we like 10 of us watched the game and it was absolute mayhem it was mental as you can as you can uh, expect that video will be pretty special so if you want to see that tomorrow smash the like button i just need a little bit more time to do the the subtitles because we were speaking in hungarian and actually hungary exceeded everyone's expectations i will be honest guys with the last 10 15 years and how hungarian football has been going I was losing hope of ever seeing Hungary at an international tournament. The last time we were involved in either a World Cup or a Euro was in 1986. And basically I've waited for this game all my life. So can you believe, can you imagine how I felt before kickoff? My heart was pounding and I, my heart was racing and I was so, so nervous. I was just hoping and praying for even a draw. I would be I would have been even happy if we just scored one goal during this whole Euro 2016 tournament. That's how much we have been missing Hungary in a Europe in, the, in an international tournament. We had the golden generation, the magic Magyars in the 1950s. That was arguably in that 5 year period the best team in the world. But nowadays, you know, the Hungary team has let us down so many times that I wasn't, you know, expecting anything from this team. And actually, actually, we played brilliantly. Even my friends who, you know, don't really watch football that, as much as I do, they were very impressed in the first 15 and 20 minutes we, how we passed the ball around and even when we couldn't really get the ball forward, we passed it back to the goalkeeper who, by the way, is an absolute lunatic. <laughs> he's 40 years old and 75 days and he actually broke the Euro 2016 record for being the oldest player ever to play in a European Championship. How awesome is that, guys? That is just mental. And he has at least two more games in the group stage, but I'm really hoping if we can get a good result against Iceland, if we win, we are through, and I'm organizing another house party at my friend's house we are organizing together, of course, uh, to watch that game with my friends and I'm just so, so excited. And actually, we had more possession than Austria, we had more shots than Austria, we had a lot more shots on target. According to the stats, we had 8 shots on target, Austria had just 3. And remember, remember this, guys, that Austria were actually one of the favorites to go far in this tournament in terms of maybe a dark horses that everybody was talking about Austria because actually they had one of the best records in qualifying they won the group unbeaten and have won nine games out of the ten qualifiers that they had and only one draw so nine wins one draw they were unbeaten for a long time in competitive matches and here comes Hungary and bang we won the game 2 near by two goals I mean what is this when i woke up i said am i dreaming did we really win 2-0 i had to check my phone and then and, and then i realized holy cow we actually did it we actually freaking did it i was so ecstatic during the game you will see in the video in the fans of larry i just can't wait to start editing that uh, for you guys it will be out tomorrow because you know in the first half actually in the first minute we had an absolute heart attack because Alaba smashed an absolute belter against the post. I think the goalkeeper might have saved it if it wasn't target, but it was very close. And if it's 1-0 Austria, I think it's a completely different game, obviously, and, and we might have lost that game. That's the small margins in football. The first half was completely even. Both teams had six shots, two on target, but it was more Austria who threatened Alaba, played really well, I felt, in the first half, and... Uh, 
And we, ju we just, uh, you know, and, and he had a couple of chances which uh, Kirai uh, saved uh, brilliantly. And by the way, what do you think about his uh, tracksuit bottoms? <laughs> he is always playing in, a tra in those trousers because of a uh, crazy superstition. And he, he reminded me of Joseph McGee, the FIFA 14 carrier boat legend. Some of you, you know, older subscribers might remember him. He was a youth academy player who was always playing with black trousers and he was a striker, he was awesome, he, was, he won the top scorer award, never mind. So we led back into the game. So in the first half Hungary put together some really good passing moves but when we got to the final third, final third we, we just couldn't, couldn't do the final ball right. And I was really worried because uh, Austria had more quality in attack, in my opinion, than Hungary. They have the better players all around. But you know, football is not played on paper. And we showed that with good team spirit, a team can achieve a lot. Uh, Italy showed that against Belgium. And the Salai, who actually haven't scored our striker, I didn't agree with his inclusion. We had a little bit of a debate between my friends who should start for Hungary as a striker. I would have preferred a more mobile, agile striker who can run in behind the defense and stretch the defense. But our tactic was to sometimes, uh, when we got high pressured, sometimes we lumped the, do the ball up to Salai, a tall striker, and he heads the ball down. And sometimes we get out, got out of tight situations before because of that. But he's so slow and he's so lethargic. But he actually ended a 40 game go route go route 40 yes 4 0 40 games that was the last time he scored a goal and he is a striker oh my word and what a time to score your first goal in 40 games unbelievable klein heisler who is an absolute rookie guys he made his international debut in the playoffs he played zero games in the qualifiers and s somehow the manager, the German manager, who, uh, our manager, who, who by the way is a very good tactical coach, he picks out this guy who was in the Hungarian third year because he had a contract dispute. dispute. He was at the, at the Hungarian first division club. Since then he signed for Werder Bremen in Germany, I think in January, after the, uh, after the playoffs. So he picks this kid, which almost nobody ever heard of, and place him in the starting lineup against Norway and he scores the winning goal on his freaking debut. Uh, can you believe it? And you, you can see why the manager picked him. He has saw him in training and he is a really, really a hidden gem. Anyway, my battery is running out so Stieber scored a magnificent second goal. That chipped goal was so, so good. Stieber came on, he's another young player, he is fast and we killed Austria on the counter-attack. By the way, when Austria scored, we were devastated, I, I, I almost uh, shed a tear and then the referee gives a red card to an Austria player and we were like, what? What is going on? I couldn't understand, I've never seen anything like that before. It turned out that before, just before the goal happened, the Austria defender uh, kicks, uh, sorry, the Austria attacker kicks a Hungarian defender, gets a second yellow card and gets a red card and that changed the game after that. Hungary had more space, you know, against 10 men and we could have scored 3 or 4 goals in the end because of uh, our counter-attack. So all in all, I was super, super happy about this game. I'm just, I was just so, so happy that we actually won a game in the Euros and, and we can actually qualify from the group. If we play like this, I think we can beat Iceland, who are a really tough team, really solid team, but they are beatable. They got a very good result against Portugal. We also watched the game against Portugal after after the Hungary game. We were just so happy. We were, you know, just chatting uh, and uh, having laughs, and uh, and it was just one of the best days of my life. I will be honest, guys, because I love football so much, and it was so sad to not see Hungary in an international tournament throughout my whole life. Can you believe it? I waited for this game and for this moment my whole life and it's very hard to put into words what I feel. I feel immense pride that for the first time in 30 years the whole world could see that Hungary can play football. We can also play football and I'm telling you that I think Hungary is back 
among the nations who will be regularly, hopefully, regularly playing at international tournaments because this team has uh, quite a few talented players, uh, Stieber, Nagy, the center defensive midfielder, and also uh, also Kleinheisler. So we have some talented players coming through. And of course, the veterans, Kirai and Gera, are the leaders of this team. But we actually have some really talented young players, which is, uh, you know, bodes well for the future. Anyway, really hope that you guys enjoy this. This was just my analysis and reaction to the austria Hungary game. The fans online reactions video will be out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Come on, Hungary! Let's get to the qu let's get to the knockout stages of the Euros. Maybe to the quarterfinals if we get lucky. And guys, if we actually win against Iceland, which is not impossible, especially after our our confidence after this game will be sky high going into that game. If we can win against Iceland, we would actually have a chance of winning the group, which I never imagined that we actually. We even had a chance of, of doing that. Never in my wildest dreams, guys. Trust me. I know how bad this, this Hungary international football team has been in the last 10-15 years. So this is just amazing. And I'm so proud. Anyway, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Goodbye.